Hi, my name is Nema, and uh, in today's video, we're going to be talking about papaya, but more specifically, papaya seeds. So, in Kenya, I feel like I should really make this distinction early on. Moving forward, I'm going to be calling it papaya just for, for clarity, um, because in Kenya, you can also call them popos. And, uh, not popo, very different thing. Um, and in America, a popo is actually something entirely different and it's a fruit that's native to North America. I will pop up in this screen. So just for clarity, I will call these papaya. You, you know, you get, you get where I'm going with this. So my grandfather has a fruit farm and he grew a lot of things for export and papaya was one of those things. And I don't know if you've ever bitten into a papaya seed. Sorry, my body's just reacting to it because it's, ooh, it's bitter. It has this bitterness that I don't find pleasant, but bitterness as a flavor intrigues me. How about that? Um, so one day I was just sort of thinking about it, like, how come I, I haven't seen um, papaya, you know, in the mainstream, just in general, like, are papaya seeds used for anything? And then, wah, I just dived into research and found out, um, yes, people are indeed using them and that they're used in a variety of ways. And one of which, I don't know, this wasn't quite fun to think about, but that sometimes they're used as dewarming agents, which I really want to understand how, but also part of me is just frightened to dig into that research. The, one of my tips for picking up a papaya, and this really honestly is going to vary based on where you're located and what um, is being cultivated where you are. But sometimes they're meant to change color, obviously, and some of them will change from a series of like green all the way to like a deep reddish um orangish color and sometimes that might not be the case so in this example i was trying to show you the um sticker that comes with the on the papaya that shows you the color the color changes and when it's ready to be consumed So once these are dehydrated, I would say that as far as flavor profile goes, it's it's it has a certain bitterness that I, I don't know. I don't know if I can get behind. But I'm really curious to experiment further with it. Um, at the moment, and I'll keep you posted, I am very curious to add it to my chai mix particularly if people are using it much in the way as uh, as black pepper. Um, I don't know, what will that do to the flavor of the chai? We'll find out. One of the ways in which I used it, which was super easy, <laughs> because I was, I was just curious. I, was, I happened to be eating yogurt that day and I was just like, what, what happens if uh, I sprinkle some of this in the yogurt uh, with the fruit and I, I will say,
if you watched my kachumbari video you saw uh, I think I talked about using pickled onions and how listen that whole summer I've been on last summer I've been just on a kick to quick pickle everything and I haven't stopped I will not be stopping anytime soon so following that train of thought I pickled some uh, papaya seeds and loved it this was probably my favorite way to eat them Um, the Swahili word for today, it's just one, is uh, papai, which is popo, or papaya. <laughs> papai. Papai. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, kwaheria kwanana.